How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of mystery beer, courtesy of my boy Jerome. Look at me actually writing initials on the mystery beers to so know what they are. Um, I lost a bunch of mystery beers. Come to the rescue of a bunch of people. Jerome is first out of the shoot. For those who don't know, mystery beers are basically beers people send me. I open them, I drink them, I talk about them. Sometimes guess the beer, basically talk about whether I like it or not, and go from there. Beautiful, classic mystery beer stylings. Uh, and that, if that's not, like, <sighs> clear beer, I don't know what it is. Um, but if it's also not, like, <sighs> kind of macro lager looking, kind of Kolschy, kind of Pilsner, kind of something like that, 12-ounce can kind of makes sense. Here's the thing. 12-ounce can. Shrouded bottom, so I didn't want me to know anything about the beer itself. This could be macro lager, or it could be local jams. I'm guessing maybe a local jam. Getting elementary vibes off of this one a little bit, maybe. Because I know they do a lot of stuff in 12-ounce cans. Anyway, um, yeah, looks a part of clear beer. You know, lager, pilsner, Kolsch, the whole nine. Let's see what the nose has. It's, just, it's lager. It's pilsner lager. It's got to be. Uh, you know, it, it, it's 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 either a Pilsner or a Kolsch. I'm pretty sure it's a Pilsner. It doesn't have an overt kind of uh, lager vibe to it, but there is a soft little lager vibes off off it. Not too crazy sweet kind of Pilsner malt. Really, not much to it. I could see this being macro though. Yeah, definitely a, 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 a macro, not a macro lager. Definitely a Pilsner lager. I haven't really got to that point where I'm gonna actually call it a macro beer, but it smells the part. That sweetness, it lacks that corn kind of vibe to it. Man, I gotta cut my nails way too long. Um, quarantine nails. Anyway, um, yeah, it, it's, it has this nice sweet Pilsner malt. doesn't have that big kind of corn thing. At least it doesn't on the nose. The ever so slightest bit of lager vibes done and done. Really not much as far as bittering. Let's just dive in. Cheers. Okay. Hmm. There's something really weird with this beer. What is that? What is that? What is that? That's weird. Okay. This is somebody's like lager, but there's this little bit of like citrusy sour tinge to it. Almost like an added component. It doesn't really taste like an off flavor, so it's, it'd almost be like somebody's Mexican lager with lime zest, but it's not zesty. Here's the thing. Is it a salted lager? Is that what I'm getting? This is weird. This can't be a macro beer. It just can't be. Because this is so weird on a taste. Either it's like almost like a margarita lager or something like that, which you would be like, okay, that's something that, you know, Budweiser would do. But it is just somebody's kind of base Mexican lager, I believe, with maybe a salted Mexican lager? I don't know. It's weird. It's almost like, think about it, and this could be the case, to be perfectly honest with you. Is this Carton Digger? The only, a Carton Digger. For those who don't know, I believe it was Digger, was there, um, I think I think it was a lager, or it was a Pilsner, but they used their water, didn't filter it, or maybe even add a little bit of salt and minerality to it to give it this kind of clam kind of vibe. And when you eat clams, really it's a lot of salinity involved, so that was kind of their twist on it. Good God, I have no idea what this is. I would almost be willing to bet anything it's not a macro beer because of how kooky that salinity thing comes off. I don't have no, I have no idea what to say. It says somebody's 4.6% salted lager. <laughs> That's all I got, man. Good God. That's a weird one. This is a really fun mystery beer. Thank you for Jerome. I have to apologize to Jerome. Okay. I have to apologize to Jerome. Or, um, 
not picking up on his note when he sent me off some beers, he said, made a joke about uh, Gattaca <laughs> and a line from Gattaca, and I miss it, went over my head. I, half the time when he, I do an unboxing dr drone, I go, drone, drone, the metronome, which is from Gattaca, so I screwed up, so... This is Kate Me. This is their tan limes. It's a Mexican style lager with sea salt and lime, crisp and zesty. <sighs> it kind of made sense. I really did tap dance around this kind of beer. The only reason I really didn't go, even though I did mention that kind of lime zestiness in the beginning, it didn't really come off as like a zestiness. It came off as a subtle lime flavoring that I just attributed to like a saltiness. 4.5%. I'm 1 billion percent okay with everything I said about this beer. So this says, Tan Limes is our Mexican-style lager brewed with a touch of locally harvested sea salt and a hint of Persian lime juice. Fresh and zesty. This is a really good beer. Um, this is like quintessential chugger-level stuff. I mean, I would... I could probably get by this. I should buy this all day. This would be the perfect kind of barbecue all day kind of beer. You get a little bit of salt in there. You get your electrolytes because that's what plants crave. A little Brondo up in this piece. And it is really well made. Super Crusher. And it, 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 the thing is, when you do these mystery beers and you kind of dive into them, you're really trying to pick apart what's going on. So a lot of the hemming and hawing of me at this beer isn't necessarily saying it's a bad beer. It's just that this is such a weird combination to have in a lager, that lime and that salt, um, that it kind of throws you. You're not quite sure if it's something that's going to be like, okay, this is off beer. But once you drink it and you realize it's not an off flavor, then you start to kind of hone in on those flavors. You know, even though I kind of kicked the lime to the curb quite early on it, um, that salt profile really did stick out, and it really ended up coming off as a uh, as a fun little beer. I like this. I think this is really cool beer. Really fun. Uh, on the bottom, had nothing really on the bottom that I could discern it from, so maybe it was just trying to hide dates on me, um, or maybe this felt like wrapping hole bottom of the beer. I don't know. But yeah, this is a fun beer. I like this quite a bit. Thank you very much. This is my favorite kind of mystery beer uh, for a couple different reasons. One, because I got it really fucking correct. And two, it's just it's such a unique take on stuff that it, 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 there is no there is no pomp. There is no pre-judging of the beer. Because you go into this, I drink this, I read this. Lime and sea salt. I'm going to get those things. So even if the flavor profiles come even relatively close to that, I'm still going to call out lime and sea salt. Going into the mystery beer, not knowing what it is and having to work through that flavor profile, even though some people be like, dude, limes and sea salt. It's like two of the easiest things you can pick up. It's not that easy in this beer, I don't think. I think it's a little bit more kind of subtle. And like I said, he uh, leans heavily into the salt profile. And then when you're talking about having such a light beer like a Mexican lager, which is essentially your craft version of a macro lager, you're kind of fighting off a sneeze right now. I don't want to sneeze on camera. Anyway, um... I tried. I tried. Um, yeah, but you know, it, with such a subtle beer to even, I think, have that kind of lager portion of the show come through and still be there is a pretty fun, uh, pretty fun thing. So yeah, even on the nose, it was just pure lager that probably drove me into that throughout the whole beer, and then having that kind of salt and those little hints of lime really come through. It's a fun beer. That's all I could say. Let's talk about it. Is it one of the better? adjunct lagers macro non-macro lagers let's go there non-macro lagers that have had as of late without a doubt i love this beer i think it's tasty af and just absolutely delicious super summer crusher this is the stuff i want to be drinking all summer let's put it that way uh vagot availability it's cape may it comes in a 12 ounce can chances are you could probably get this right around 10 bucks for a sixer i'm okay with that and leave you with if you like what we like this beer if you like lager, Mexican lager, you like a little bit of salinity in your beer, not necessarily a super salty beer, but just having that minerality in there and that little touch of lime that for me was a kind of accentuator um, uh, to that kind of salinity. If you dig those kind of things, let's put it this way. If you like balooners, but you don't want the sour portion of the show, you'll like this. Or gozes, I mean, sorry. Uh, you'll like this one. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massivebeers at gmail.com. That's my email. You know what that's for. Mystery beers. If you would like to send mystery beers off, it's the only way we can do them. You can email me there or matt at massivebeers.com. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoyed a little summer crusher like this one. We'll see you next time. Cheers.